If you have flashes and floaters, flashes and floaters are something that need to be seen by your eye doctor. Flashes and floaters are oftentimes grouped together as a symptom. Could be any of a number of different things. Sometimes it could be something like bleeding in the eye. It could be inflammation in the eye. But the most common reason by far that we see patients with flashes and floaters for is something called a posterior vitreous detachment. Again, this happens most commonly in the early 60s for a patient. Um, the posterior vitreous detachment, there is a gel inside the eye that's called the vitreous. It's normally the consistency of an egg white. As patients get older, that gel can liquefy. And when it liquefies, it sort of collapses upon itself and pulls off from the retina. And when that pulls off from the retina, we worry about a hole or a tear forming in the retina because that could lead to a retinal detachment. Retinal detachment is vision threatening. Retinal detachment can lead to blindness. So this is a big deal. It's an important deal. So if patients have flashes and floaters, they need to come in to be seen. Posterior vitreous detachment, a retinal tear, a retinal detachment, they're not painful. You don't feel pain in the eye. You're, just, you're going to hopefully have some symptoms such as flashes and floaters, and that needs to be seen. If we are able to see and diagnose a retinal tear before it goes on to develop a retinal detachment, we can treat that patient with laser and clinic, and we can often keep that patient from having to go to the operating room. So this is something that I would consider an, an, an urgent type of problem. It's not necessarily emergent. You don't have to come in immediately to the emergency room. This is something that you'd call your eye doctor for and make sure that you're able to come in to be seen within the next day or so. You can't really diagnose yourself whether you have a retinal tear or not. So that's something that needs to be evaluated by an eye doctor. Now I will tell you that only about 7% of the time do patients who develop a posterior vitreous detachment actually develop a retinal tear. So the large majority of patients who have a posterior vitreous detachment are not going to have a tear, but it's certainly something that needs to be seen.